Hi everyone, welcome to Chef Mooney coming to you from Mooney's Kitchen. Well, today's little recipe is a beautiful vegetarian dish. If you like red cabbage, get into the kitchen, let's get cooking. I'm gonna show you, it's only got a half a dozen ingredients. It takes 10 minutes to make this dish. So come on, let's get cooking with Chef Mooney. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is just shred up your cabbage. I'm using one small whole red cabbage, probably around about one, two, maybe three, possibly about six cups of cabbage here. And I've got three cloves of garlic here, which has started to chop. And you just want it a little bit fine. I've also got a couple of red chilies. I'm gonna leave the seeds in, you can take them out. I'm just gonna slice these up. Go, two red chilies garlic, cabbage. Next thing is my capsicum. Gonna cut the end off, take that piece out, remove the center. I'm using a whole red capsicum here and we're just gonna slice this up. Now that's all the ingredients. So six cups of cabbage, three cloves of garlic, two whole chilies, one large bell pepper or capsicum. I'm gonna use some fresh parsley. We're gonna to toss in a little bit of um, basil or basil at the end. We're gonna use some olive oil. And we're also going to use 250 grams of pearl couscous. Now this is a larger couscous. We're just gonna cook that, follow the instructions on the packet. I think it takes 10 minutes in boiling water. So to the back here, I've got some boiling water. Just gonna put a bit of salt in there. And then we're gonna put our couscous, pearl couscous in. And we're gonna cook this for about 10 minutes. So 250 grams, just give it a stir every now and again. While that's cooking, I'm gonna add some olive oil to a pan. And you want a good three to four tablespoons of olive oil. Now I've got all my ingredients ready to go. I'm gonna start by putting the cabbage in. We just wanna sweat this down and on a low heat, I'm just going to start cooking this till it starts to break down a little. A little bit of salt and pepper. You can adjust the seasoning towards the end. All right, that's had a couple of minutes. Now I'm going to add the capsicum. Just toss that straight in. I'm going to let that cook out a little bit. Followed by our garlic and chili. Now I've used capsicum, I love that red color mixed in with the purple, it looks magnificent. As you can see that looks awesome, the colors. And towards the end when we get to garnish this, we're gonna add that burst of green. Now that's our couscous, almost ready. It's had about nine minutes, give it another minute. And then we're gonna toss it in. To our cabbage mix. Now I've turned the heat off my cabbage and my couscous has had 10 minutes. So Just drain the couscous off. Everything's taken 10 minutes. The couscous and the vegetables. Now we just toss the couscous into the cabbage mix. Look at that beautiful color. Healthy, delicious, fragrant in flavor. A hint of chili there, giving it a bit of kick. We're gonna add some fresh basil to this now and some chopped parsley. It's time to serve this up. That's how easy it is, 10 minutes. I'm just gonna finish off with a little flat leaf parsley. And as you can see, that's that nice color, that green color. When you take this to the table, it's really lovely. And a little bit of fresh basil that you can add as well, give it that nice bursts of green and also as you toss it through it just wilts slightly gives it that nice flavor we're going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil over the top nice and healthy dinner let's give this a try you can have this any night of the week it's really refreshing beautiful perfect with a glass of wine hope you give this recipe a try don't forget to check out any other videos on my channel. Until next time, you have yourselves a great week. Take care. Come and I'll show you how to use this. Let's start again, this is crap. 
crappy intro. Crappy intro number one. <laughs> bullshit, my line, bullshit. Come on, let's. <laughs> until next time you have yourselves a great week and until next time <laughs> and until next time you sit give this recipe a try until my next recipe take care